glory and blessings to the name of Jesus today. I come with a simple message. Uh, there's a great falling away taking place right now, and, and we can all become victims of that if we don't keep our eyes on the prize. Love is the foundation of the scripture in Corinthians 13. And uh, what I believe is the most that the devil will try to do is get you to have a hardened heart to to get you to be so mad or angry at something. If we become angry at something, we can't be used of God because real love and real compassion and real grace, it doesn't line up with this anger. So if anything is getting you to the point where you got so much anger, I would disengage with whatever that is that's making you ang anger, angry and go into the word of God. It's uh, so blessed and so free. Many people will look at from the outside will say you're consumed with religion, uh, you know all these things. And no, I'm not consumed with religion. I'm consumed with liberation. And the Bible it says where the Spirit of the Lord there is liberation, and and we with unveiled faces are being transformed into His likeness by the ever increasing glory that comes from the Lord who is Spirit. So today is about liberation. When you get to the liberation of Christ, it's not this. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. These regulations and rules and religion or oh the choking me out. No, it's not like that because Jesus is freedom. We I don't know how uh, people turned Christianity in this staunch religion when Jesus is freedom. Jesus is freedom. However you are and all the talents that you have, when you are liberated in Christ, those talents become even more. I remember when I was playing basketball uh, on the streets out here uh, in the Sierra Nevada in the foothills. I, I wasn't that good and then I had came to the Lord. And I'll tell you, over the course of two years, I was knocking down three after three after three after three. Whatever you have and whatever your talent could potentially be in the Lord is going to be much greater. You can even be bad at something and then in the liberation of Christ be good at something. Oftentimes people have such ability to do something, but the failure of faith, it limits the, the overachieving in that area. Because it's the humility of saying, look, Christ, I, I let you take the will. Whatever I'm good at, I'm going to allow you to make it greater. In the Bible, it says that I must increase so that I must decrease so that he may increase. So let me decrease in my life so Christ can increase. Now, when we get to that level, we start to see change and we start to see the fruits of the Spirit. You can watch someone's life and know that Christ is real in their life. You can see someone that's trying so hard to be Christian, so hard to try to follow the commandments, so hard to try to do everything that, that's good because they're doing it out of their carnal ability, out of their own ability. It's not fulfilling righteousness. It's just as bad as being a Pharisee or a scribe. In the true liberation of Christ, you don't have to try so hard to go into the law and the rules and regulations uh, of everything set before us. By the liberating factor of Christ, by the law of the Spirit, it's by loving Christ, and by loving Christ, the natural uh, currency of righteousness starts to set in. Oh, glory. And this is not something that's hard. It's not something that's going to be so difficult. Mostly when it becomes difficult, it's because you're trying to walk out Christianity in the flesh. It's easy because you have to know the rules and regulations. You have to allow the Ten Commandments to be your guide. You have to be under the supervision of the law. But under the freedom of Christ, real righteousness appears because it's no longer this real difficult thing. It's like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to understand the persecutions and the flesh things are going to become difficult. But by the spirit of liberation, by the persecutions that come against me, it's not going to be so difficult because Jesus owns my life. And so when we can get to that, and it could, I, sometimes a sinner will get to this revelation within a week and be more, more joy on them than you see someone who's practiced Christianity for 65 years and is stuck in a rut. Because Christ is not about your works. It's not about how good you've been for how long. It's about a liberating spirit, the liberation of Christ, the law of the spirit. And, and when that liberation 
gives the transformation, the process of transformation might take some time, but the liberty is divine and it is immediate. It is the continuous, it is the continuance, it is the endurance during the persecution of man, during the persecution of trial and tribulation, under all situation, under everything that you're going through, give Thanks and praise to the Lord. And no matter what comes against you, your frustration might be there a second. You might get angry for a second, but you're not going to allow it to knock you off the glory right of Jesus because it is something that is liberating. And oh my, can we get the liberation today. In these testing times, people are falling away. People are losing faith. You're seeing left and right. People who were addicts were sober, and now they're right back on the drugs. People who were drunks were sober. Now they're right back at the bar. People who were smoking that pot like it was nothing it's quick for one year they're smoking blunts bigger than any vega cigar you could try to roll up on the northern american region but right now i'm telling you by the liberation of christ you don't need any of those things of the world to give you joy you all you need is his spirit and my it is amazing what God can do. He can he can he can he can change your mood. He can reset your attitude. And 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 allowing him to manifest is not this long going process. And I'm going to end it right here. I believe you got something out of this today. But it is the guilt that keeps you in the sin. If you could take a moment to understand grace and you giving grace forward, then you won't allow yourself to be overwhelmed by the guilt which which ultimately leads to the continual cycle of the sin nature. When you're knowing as a child, I have been forgiven, it allows you to keep more confidence in what God wants to do. And in that joy of what you have in Christ, you will stay away from those things that God does not want in your life. And you'll continue in the path of righteousness of Christ Jesus Almighty. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this simple short message. Let it bless my life and those who hear and let it fall on the fertile ground of the hearts of the believers in the mighty name above all and Yeshua the name of Jesus glory to the king